Hello and welcome to our Open Data Google Hangout. I'm Hannah Sung of The Globe and Mail and I'm joined by a panel of experts who can explain to you exactly what open data is and what the Canadian government plans on doing with it. Uh, if you'd like to join the conversation, please do so by hashtagging open data and data GC via Twitter and Google+. Now to introduce our panel. Minister Tony Clement, he's the President of the Treasury Board. Minister Jason Kenney, he's Canada's Minister of Citizenship, Immigration and Multiculturalism. Celebrity entrepreneur Robert Herjavec of CBC's Dragon's Den. Ashley Kazvan, who is a strategic coordinator for the Chief Information Officer of the City of Edmonton. And Chris O'Neill, Managing Director of Google Canada. Now today is a good day to discuss open data as Prime Minister Stephen Harper formally adopted an open data charter with the other G8 leaders in Northern Ireland that happened earlier today. Also, uh, Minister Clement just launched the new next generation open data portal that happened about an hour ago. <laughs> We're pushing this right now. <coughs> Have we lost Minister Clement? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so everybody awkwardly smiles for a moment. Maybe Could you uh, re repeat the question for me? We, we did lose contact there for a second. Okay. Hi, Minister Clement. I hear that you're back. I'm, I'm not quite seeing you, but if you can hear me, we'd yes. love to just hear about, uh, in very broad terms, what is open data and why is the government behind it right now? Open data is part of a global movement where you uh, are getting greater access to government information that used to be, as I put it, hoarded like your grandmother's silverware, put in a vault somewhere. What we've tried to do and are increasingly successful at doing is posting online uh, data, uh, of course, uh, having regard for privacy and national security concerns, but otherwise data that can be available to individual users, researchers, entrepreneurs, non-governmental organizations, uh, and to, to use that data to create new applications, uh, share the information with other citizens, and generally not only uh, create more interaction between government and citizenry, but also uh, at the same time create an avenue for more entrepreneurial activity. So open data is a worldwide movement. It's not just something about what that Canada is doing, but Canada is proud to be in the forefront of uh, that movement. We have over 273,000 data sets online, and uh, we will have many more in the future. Okay, so I, I do have so many more questions for our entire panel, but I'm told we're taking a five-minute break. If you can just be patient and hold with us for five minutes, we'll be right back. Thank you. 